If you've ever struggled with creating a successful landing page, then I would suggest one simple rule. Mimic the opera page. Now, creating a landing page that successfully captures a lead or sells a service or product can occasionally be maddening to anyone. But typically, it's just as simple as holding the user's hand and guiding them through the offer. And the best way to do this is to pave your sales flow with images and copy that's congruent to the offer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can mimic your offer page and increase performance. So let's begin. So here we have an offer for Christian Mingle. Now the offer doesn't look too bad, seems pretty straightforward, but it also doesn't really say anything. Sure you can scroll down and you can read about all of the benefits that Christian Mingle can bring you, but if we hope to create any leads for this offer, we need to hit the user with some of these benefits deliberately and immediately. Also, this image may not work for everyone I wish to target for Christian Mingle. It's already a niche offer that's geared towards Christians, but we may want to cater to more than just young, attractive Christians. We may want to cater to old or black or less athletic Christians. So how do we do that? Well, we create a landing page. So first, I'm going to take a screen capture here of this landing page. Next, I'm going to open up Photoshop and create a new document and paste in that screen cap that I just took. And now we're ready to begin working on our landing page. Now right away I see some images for social proof that I'm going to want to use. So real quick, I'm just going to grab my rounded rectangle tool and just cut out these three images. Now that I have all those cut out, I'll just combine those real quick. That shape don't need it. And then we have my social proof that I'm going to use for my landing page. Now just real quick looking at this, there really doesn't seem to be much anything else that I'm going to want to keep. So I'm just going to use my eyedropper and actually change the uh, color of my background here to this odd beige color uh, that's for that they have set Christian Mingle. Next, I'm going to select the marquee tool and essentially cut out what is going to be my landing page. Go there, and then we'll just cut out the inverse. And now I have this background color that I'm going to use for the main background for my lander. Then using the marquee tool again, we're just going to select the entire area for our lander and then we're just going to crop everything else out. Now, because I want to keep the transition subtle between my landing page and the offer page, I'm not going to totally delete this image. Instead, I'm going to use my marquee tool and essentially select the image space and create a new layer that's going to go on top of this one. So like there. Go down to new layer, and then I'm just going to fill in that new layer. Actually, we're going to go with something that's a little bit more white. There we go. Now I have this new layer on top of the image. Well, what I can do is uh, create a sort of faded appearance so that that image doesn't stick out as much. I can put other images on top. It makes the transition really smooth between my landing page and this offer page. Now one big element that I'm going to want to mimic for my landing page is going to be this uh, little box here for the sign up area. But to keep all of the colors congruent, I'm just going to use my eyedropper to get that color and then use my rounded rectangular tool to essentially create a box that's going to look just like this one. Then I'm just going to rasterize the layer here and then add a drop shadow just to kind of make it stick out a little bit, but we don't want anything too prominent. And then a stroke, just put it down to two pixels, make it a little bit darker, so we have a box to go. We'll hit OK. Next, I want to create a call to action button that looks somewhat similar to this browse for free button. So first I'm going to grab my eyedropper and just grab that color there. And next, I'm going to open up my CTA template that I always have lying around. 
Having a template like this really comes in handy when trying to create landing pages quickly. It's also an animated GIF, so it has many uses. So anyway, what we're going to do is go to layer 11 here and change the color overlay from this purple color to that orangish color that we just grabbed. Next, I'm going to go over to the layer, merge visible, and essentially just copy the button. I'm going to close out and I'm going to make sure not to save so I can use that template for other landing pages. And I'll just select where I want that to go. And then real quick, what I want to do is actually grab this text here that I had earlier, uh, Meet Christian Singles. I'll just copy that and I just want to paste it in so it's going to be in my landing page. Then we'll just paste in some bullet points. Add a few profile pictures, change the opacity of this layer here a little bit so I can make that text appear a little more strongly. And then I actually am just going to cut down this landing page a little bit so I'll just crop a little bit more out. And then I'm just going to add a border right here. Now we're ready to open up this image in Dreamweaver so we can make a few hotspots and then we'll be ready to go. And here I have just a very basic uh, PHP file. So I'm just going to uh, go into the body here. I'm going to insert a wrapper tag, like so. OK. And then we're just going to insert that image that we just created. Then I'm just going to change the dimensions of my uh, wrapper tag here. So that's uh, 904, 534. So that's just the dimension of the image that we just created. And for positioning, we're just going to change this to auto. And then for background, we'll remove the images, change the background color, the background there, that beige, orangish color. And then we can create our hotspots. So we'll just select the image, go to Hotspots, and select everywhere that we think the user is going to click. Then once you're finished, you get something that looks a little like this. And there we go. Now we have a landing page that looks pretty similar to our upper page. Uh, except this landing page is created to target older women who are seeking men. So when we click on this, we're then led to Christian Mingle, and the transition is pretty seamless. So that's how I create landing pages that mimic my offer pages. I like doing this because it allows me to make more customized and versatile landing pages that still remain congruent with the offer page allowing me to really target a wider demographic than was initially intended for the offer. That being said, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can email me at aziz at ipixel.com. Thanks once again, and take care.